and when I got to Flint, I came to Flint when I was 18. I'm 75 now. And it was a wonderful, friendly city. city. It was, you know, everyone was working and everyone was friendly. It was always like each one reach one and it was a community spirit of helping each other. Now we're afraid of each other. Previously, before I came to St. Mark, I ran a nonprofit in, in Flint called Care Incorporated. And in that, we provided substance abuse and mental health services for over 15 years. And then I came over here and we started a center here. But what I see here now is even worse than what was before, because people that need services don't trust the service providers because of some of the things that's happened here previously in Flint. I remember in the mental health system years ago, you would send people over to get mental health therapy uh, with the dual diagnosis, and they would just give them a shot. And then they come back to the agency and they was like a zombie. So that made people here very afraid of being involved in the mental health system. So you have to really gain the trust of the community to treat the individuals. So therefore we started a nonprofit outreach center here on the other side of the church building, which we deal with suicide and we deal with all of the different issues that causes grief and, and it causes financial difficulties and it impacts single families. Flint needs a continuum of support care, not uh, discombobulated. It needs to be united and like a one-stop shop and where they feel like they can trust what the people that are helping them. It's um, apparent in Flint from our perspective at the outreach that a lot of people need help but they don't trust the people to give them the help they need because oftentimes you have to go downtown or elsewhere in the community and they don't get the answers that they need and no one's there to help them work through their issues. Mm -hmm.